This is Twit. Bye bye, HomePod. Um, yeah, I have feelings about this. Do you have the? You have all the feels. I have all the feels about this. I, I definitely, genuinely love that little beast mode that it is for. But after getting my minis, and I ordered them. Actually, the last time I was on this show, we ordered them live, and they are freaking amazing. Yes, they do absolutely miss that extra bass that comes with the big ones. But that bass is for me. The other person in my house actually likes it without all of the bass. And it really? sounds incredible. And you can tune it if you have, you know, room to adjust corner placement. You can kind of get a little extra bass out of it by using, you know, physics. But I, the minis are just absolutely incredible. And if you think about it, you can buy three of them for $50 more than just one of that. And you just get a better sound, say, in your in your house. Now they don't. Bingo. They don't do the minis. Don't do the surround solution, right? With the Apple TV. No, they, the Apple. that they do not. Yeah, unfortunately. No, no, no. That, I, that, that. But I think you can fake it though. They do left, right, stereo. Um, I got. You know, so, I did so, the same so thing, cool. Doc Rock. We have two Home Pods because Lisa really liked the big, the big boys when they came out. And I, but I ordered five minis to to sprinkle around the house, and they yeah. sound fine. You're right; they're not super bassy. It's yeah. not probably. I wouldn't want to. I mean, I have good stereo to listen to music, but for audio books, yeah. podcasts, you know, a little background music while you're cooking, it's perfect. Yeah, I now that now that these streaming speakers are kind of streaming uh, table stakes for everybody, I think one of the th big things that we've all learned is that it's cool to have uh, a pair of 600 a single pair of 600 dollar speakers like in a cor in a uh, against the wall or in a corner of the room but if you have that uh, like five or six 80 90 100 dollar streaming speakers everywhere in the room that gives you that kind of room filling presence where you feel if if the quality of each individual speaker is of a certain quality that's what I'm after. I'm not necessarily after, you know, this big like Maxell tape sort of uh, tsunami of sound coming from from one corner of the, the room. I kind of want to be able to hear the music wherever I am. And that's the sort of immersive thing that you get from it. So that's I it, it also helps that the minis are really, really good. They're, they're good enough, which is which is something that the uh, Apple tends to have a problem with that. No, no, no. We don't want the four or five hundred dollar amazingly incredibly best in class speaker we want something that is good enough that allows us to come home from the mall with three or four hundred dollars in our pocket that we didn't have before it's so funny that you use that analogy and i'm gonna tell you why because in my family store we used to sell bmw speakers bowers and wilkins not the car oh they those. are what oh, that is with what the diamond the Max tweeters commercial. man oh man right. yeah so we had a pair of those 801s from the max l commercial oh, those in are nice. our uh. store um <laughs> I currently have five of those set up, not the 801s. I have the six series. So I have 602.5s in the front, 601s in the back, and then a 600 series center. So my music listening experience exactly. is that. Exactly. But for my, I just need to hear the news in the morning or right. listen to you guys or listen to Renee wax rhapsodically about, you know, <laughs> Google privacy versus <laughs> Apple. Um, I can have three minis with a house full of Canadian as I walk around and do my <laughs> stuff in the morning. So it's actually, okay, I hate to say this, and my audiophile family would kill me, but that sounds better. When you're listening to that content, it actually sounds better on the mini speakers than even piping it through my Bowers and Wilkins because they're not designed for that. I, I mean, that's, I, I, I think that's probably the smart way to think of it is, I when I want to listen to quality music, it's not while you're doing stuff. It's when you're going to sit down, have the speakers perfectly positioned. You're going to pay attention and enjoy it. For wallpaper music, the minis are fine. I agree. A I mean, nice I, I agree. and fava beans. I am probably going to now that they're now that discontinued, probably go out and buy one more because I I, I just want to be able to do it with the surround. You know, um, you know. Do you need two for the surround or just just two, just two, just two? And and it was kind of interesting that I that that. That it doesn't support it with the little speakers because it seems like it'd be fun to put them around like little like little candles around around what you're doing and, and have them actually work, but it, but it doesn't doesn't work. And so the um, one of the folks in our office hours actually uh, compared them. You know the the uh, uh, having the just the um, two of the HomePods with you know TJ has a he's got ten 
discreet speakers, you know, <laughs> in his in his in his where he watches TV, and he said it was eighty percent. Like eighty percent of the of the ten speakers was just those two. It was just kind of amazing, um, and so so it it is an interesting. That's the best solution for those, and that's why. I, but I had it on my list of things to buy. I'll probably buy one just so I have a complete set. But on a day to day basis, our sits in the kitchen, and whether it's a little one or the big one, I'm not sure. It matters for me because I turn it way up. <laughs> so <laughs> so, but but it probably um, doesn't matter to my wife who just constantly asks for timers. <laughs> that's what that, like that's, that's, that's the number one use of that thing is, is timers and stacking timers on top of each other and Siri trying to keep track of all the timers. By the way, that's we talked about that uh, on Sunday. There is a little plateau in voice assistance, and and what the plateau is really mostly us humans, the humans who use it, which is we just basically use it for timers and to ask for a podcast <laughs> or music. We're not. Yeah. I, I guess there's a few like superhumans that use it to turn lights on and off, but it's not really. It's it's not Hal Nine Thousand. 